Greetings and welcome to Spider-Man Gamma Ports channel. This time we're going to work on Star Tropics. Yeah, it's definitely a used cartridge. I'm going to definitely open it up. I'm going to clean the contact pads. And check that battery. Make sure that uh, we don't have to put a new holder in there for it. So, color combinations. Green to go with the green. Uh, yellow to go with the yellow of Star Tropics. And the blue, of course, goes with the blue. So, yeah, down in the comments section, go ahead, tell me what you remember about Star Tropics and what stood out the most. For me, I only played it maybe once or twice as a kid. I really wasn't uh, exposed to this particular game, as it was rather rare. Okay, let me take a look at it. See all that extra flux over there? I'll clean that off. Definitely get the contact pins all mirror polished. Okay, that's a neat looking board though. Second, I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way here. I'm gonna go ahead, definitely. One second, get this all straightened out. Get those numbers. You got them? I think you do. Okay, so that batter is gonna be really easy to get out of there. see much of a wear line either where the cart meets the PCB. Let's get busy at cleaning this thing up. Go ahead tell me what your day is like today. Mine's going pretty awesome. Nice and laid back. Catching up on all my uh, movies on my favorite streaming services. Yesterday I had a really, really good fun time of uh, making a video of Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, it was it was just really not cooperating at all. <laughs> My hard drive ran out of space. You know, something like that, and it and it would turn off right in the middle of making the video. I was like, "What? How did that happen?" It did it. So. <laughs> That was partially my own fault on that one. I, I wasn't expecting it to take up that much space and time. Because so I had like multiple, multiple videos, and like 20 of them, and then I would delete them, but of course your hard drive's not actually cleared. You have to empty your recycling bin. <laughs> so, yeah. I had a really good one there, too. You know, good gaming session. It's pretty awesome. all cleaned up and then today oh man Mibu was so hyper I have never seen that cat move around the house as fast since we got her you know like way back when like three years ago and I was like Okay, so what did I do to uh, get my cat full of uh, that much energy? I picked her up a fancy feast. <laughs> She's never had a fancy feast. And I would only give her like a quarter of the can. Because you know those little small cans of it. And oh man, yeah. It's just... She's never had anything like it. Okay, I don't know about anybody else, but that's solder joint looks 
terrible, doesn't it? Or maybe I'm just being picky? No, I'm talking about that one right there. It makes me want to grab the iron out and tap it a couple times, but everybody's like, oh, you shouldn't do that when you have a battery already, uh, you know, in it. I was like, eh. Anyway, sorry about all the moving around stuff. Let's go ahead and just start buzzing on it and get it all cleaned up. Got the electric racer. Yeah, make sure you wear your safety glasses. And um, you know this is for entertainment purposes only, right? Don't copy what I'm doing um, unless you want to try it out for yourself kind of thing. You know, like, you don't have to do any of these things. I prefer doing, you know, with the electric racer method. And if you're not careful, you will grind contact pads with this particular holder in it. So, yeah. Common sense. Safety. Safety first. Oh, I also managed to pick up a piezoelectric crystal for the uh, Nintendo Game & Watch, the Super Mario Brothers, when I opened up. Yeah, I replaced its speaker in it. It's not very loud, so I, I think I might have to get another uh, piezo set. Ordered a little bit bigger than the ones I picked up. And I also uh, fixed the uh, Pioneer stereo. Pretty happy about that. Yeah, I, I just, all I did was just spray it with some contact cleaner. It was easy. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll just show it. I got I got nothing better to do. This is the contact cleaner I used on the. Uh... Here, I can we get that? There we go. Deoxid D5. It's good stuff. It worked immediately. So uh, I was happy with that. Oh, yeah. Where's that at? I have some other piezos ordered as well. And if you don't know what a piezo is, this is a piezoelectric crystal. It's got a little tape on it, but yeah. So yeah, I've been busy. I've been just slacking off all these few days of not making videos and stuff. It's just, I've been just catching up on the things that I really need to get done. This is so therapeutic. I haven't worked on a Nintendo game in a while, and now I'm like, this is why I would do so many at a time, you know, like, crack them apart, take a look at the PCB. Oh, it's so relaxing. You know? I don't have my mind racing like it was last night. I had code going through my mind constantly. I was like, did I do that right? <laughs> I was like, did I, did I, 
Let's put the proper code in for that game when I was making the video. And I usually don't have a microphone or I don't narrate those particular videos. So it was something entirely new for me. And I am working on picking up a, a decent microphone and headphone set so that if I go back to playing some more Overwatch and if I feel like maybe using or going through a competition it would be a smart idea to stream it live and have that ability to talk to people through the chat. And then I'll have another PC going in the background so that I can see what people are typing in on that chat. You know, so I'm not using the same PC. I was going to work on the GameCube. I had it all set up and ready to go to. Took it all apart, took the Game uh, Boy Player off the bottom of it, and I had it somewhat disassembled and ready to go, but I decided to uh, clean a Nintendo game cartridge instead, and, and it turned out to be Star Tropics. And then I have a, was it Zoda's Revenge? Yes. Yeah, Zoda's Revenge. That'll be the next one. Here's the sequel. I think they were good on this side. This was a really well taken care of cart. That's just so satisfying seeing that. clean that tarnish off. I mean, I know I could use a solvent or, or something else, but it just seems like this right here, it, it, I don't know, it takes up my time. It, it's enjoyable. I get to be more hands-on out of my cartridges than I would normally be. Okay, let's work on this side now. We're going to go for the bright yellow. Or do you want to stick with the green? Hmm, decisions. How about we get rid of the blue entirely? And go this way. Hey, there we go. That's a color combination that I've probably not done. And this side barely has anything on it. The reason why I didn't use the uh, the other eraser is that it just didn't need it. You know, it, you can see whether or not it does, but just by the level of tarnish that's left behind after even using this. Maybe that's why it took so long.
if you're interested. I have a code video up for this particular game title for um, Star Tropics. And that's basically everything you could ever need or want in order to uh, at least complete the game. I'll share a link. I'd like to say thank you to all my wonderful subscribers. All my amazing Instagram and TikTok followers. Thank you all so very much. It's incredible the difference between these uh, particular media platforms of what becomes popular and what's not on your selection of videos that you post. It's absolutely amazing. I, um, okay share this with everybody today I uh, well it wasn't today it was a couple days ago I went on to my uh, VFW Veterans of Foreign Wars website and I purchased a few items I um, what all did I get I got a few challenge coins I ended up getting the uh, cowboy hat which I have a nice duster to wear a blue jean duster that I would like to see what it would look like with the actual legitimate cowboy hat. So, I'm very happy about that. I also uh, ordered some business cards. I thought that was pretty incredible to uh, be a, a life member of the VFW and have business cards you know, so that you can entice others to maybe if they feel like it to at least come to a meeting if they qualify maybe make that choice to become a member For me, it was life changing. But we'll tell that story another day. All right, let's see what this looks like now. It's actually not story, it's actually history. So, what does that look like? You know, I think the reason why I think why I like this so much is that back when I was in the service, I polished a lot of brass. You know, it's never at all, and I and I would get it, you know, like a mirror polish on my uh, Mark 45 five inch 54 gun mounts brass ring for the barrel. Oh yeah, and I think that's why I find this so much more um, meaningful. But yeah, let's put the game back together again. Let's throw it inside the console and give it a shot. See you soon. Hey everybody, I am back. This time we're going to play a quick game of Star Tropics. Game Enhancer. I'm very happy with the outcome of this particular cartridge. Shined up nicely. Play a quick game. Yeah, talk about Star Tropics and playing a quick game. That's like six hours later. <laughs> So here's the, ooh, there's the code. I'll be using the infinite life, infinite lives code. And there you go.
that's only there to uh, make sure that the battery works and functions properly. Like with any RPG, I talk to everybody. I like the graphics. It reminds me of Might and Magic. You like Might and Magic 2? Gates to Another World? The enemies kind of... move in certain spots. Dither.
Well, that'll do it for me. Thank you all so very much for watching. Be safe. Take care. Happy gaming.